Hello everybody, welcome back to Thieges Notebook Review, I'm Joel Michael, and I recently reviewed this notebook, the Lenovo IdeaPad S340. If you've bought this notebook and thought it would function better with an additional 2.5 inch storage drive, you're in luck, because I'm going to show you how to install one right now. To get started, you're going to need at least a T3 Torx screwdriver. I'd recommend about a T5 size in order to reduce the chances of stripping a head. There are 10 screws to remove. One of the screws rode in on the short bus. I bought this notebook brand new, so I have no idea how that happened. Once the screws are removed, it's easiest to start removing the bottom cover from the corner with a prying tool. Once the corners are loosened, run the prying tool along the back and use your fingers from there. This cover has been removed a few times already, the first run through won't be this easy. With the bottom cover removed, we can see that Lenovo has been gracious enough to bestow upon us a hard drive caddy. Some manufacturers, I won't name names Acer, are brazen enough to ship notebooks with an available SATA slot, but no caddy. Two of the screws holding in the hard drive caddy are exposed and easily removed with a Phillips head screwdriver. The other two are hidden underneath one of the IdeaPad's 2 watt speakers that slides with relative ease off the stubs. With that out of the way, we can take out the other two screws and lift the caddy. Included is a nifty little dummy bracket that has a good amount of weight to it for sturdiness and stability. We won't need that anymore, so now you have a nice little paperweight. It's time to place our storage drive in the caddy. First, make sure the data and power connectors line up with the connectors inside the notebook, then line it up with the caddy. Insert the storage drive in the caddy with the four silver screws that we're holding in the bracket. Next, carefully wiggle the hard drive and caddy into position. You'll be done when the screw holes line up with the case and motherboard. Now screw the caddy back in and replace the speaker. Put the bottom cover back on. We're not done yet. In order to get our storage drive up and running, boot to Windows. Right click on the Windows button on the bottom left hand corner and click on Run. Type in diskmgmt.msc. That's D I S K M G M T dot M S C. We should see a box on the bottom side of the window with a black header that says such and such GB unallocated space. Right click on that box and left click on New Simple Volume. The wizard will then guide you through the process of adding a drive to your computer. In most cases, you'll just click Next, which will set you up with a single drive with the most amount of space with the next available drive letter. When the wizard is done, Windows will be able to see your new drive. This has been a tutorial about how to add a new storage drive to your Lenovo IdeaPad S340 notebook. If you don't have this notebook and are curious about how it stacks up, take a look at my full review linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and you guys, have a good night.